This must be the temple of truth, or the ritual- No, please. No more. Victoria! Please! <laughs> God, is that really her? The endless hole Vera told me about. It allegedly serves as a passage to the kingdom of Ahrizat. A strange root plant grows out of darkness, engulfing the hole. It's yellow and smells of decay. The color of the moon, the fake sun. I've seen this shade of yellow so many, too many times since arriving in this valley. I can't see the point from which the drapery is hanging. I can only gaze in awe at how tall this temple is. Victoria? Kill me, please. <sighs> Calm down. It's me, Benedict. Brother? Uh, she's a living corpse. She has no face, no ears. What's left of my sister? All I see is the shell of a human being. Benedict? Where's that monster? I... I don't... Where have you been? We must... No! I had to find it. You had to find what? The body. Yadviga, you found her body. Where is it? <laughs> uh, she's standing right next to me. You had nothing in your hands, and nothing is standing next to you. What is wrong with you? Only I can see my mother. You always seem to disappear when it gets dangerous. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. It's your ignorance that makes me laugh. You don't know what it's like to be in this agony. Agony, you say? Look what that monster did to my sister, the wife you've been longing to find. It's him. Who? Listen to me. My mother will get us out of here. Just calm down and everything will be fine. Your mother is long dead. It must be that you're seeing the spirit of Yadviga. No, 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 and no! How many times have I told you to get rid of that book? Sakfra stays with me. I need it. Yadviga is part of the book. She's eating your soul. She's my mother! You can't see her because you're living a lie, separated from reality. It's him! Nikolai is the monster! The book has nothing to do with her. She came back into my life after I ended Nermans. <laughs> All thanks to my wife, who is both a blessing and a curse to me. You killed Nermin? When? This is all your sister's fault. And you, you did this to me. You made my life a nightmare. What are you talking about? I had to do it. I had to kill Nerman. He was about to kill Victoria in that house. She should have never brought us to Spetikota. Not followed her father's letter. If only she did not care about her fool of a brother. Things would have been different then. I would still have my family, my baby, my baby and my wife. And I wouldn't have this thing growing inside me. This monster mutates me into something inhuman. 
You are the monster we've been looking for this whole time? I am not the monster. The monster lives inside my body. You need to calm down now. We can help you. God can help you get on the right path. We have an exorcist among our ranks in the monastery. You just have to resist until we get back home. Ha! <laughs> Only my mother can help me. Look at your wife. If you had the courage to kill Nerman for her, then you must find the strength to subjugate his spirit and take control of him. You can do it. You must do it for Victoria. From the day I was born, they said I was a sin. God's degenerate. No one stood up for me. No one. And no God listened to my prayers. No one, except for my mother. She protected me. She guided me. And she made sure to silence those vile voices at the orphanage. In this tragedy, she comes back to me. And now I should listen to you? A man who cares only of what God has to say to him? Why listen to a spawn of the murderous day in Nani bloodline? Wait, this... This is not who you are, brother. Forces of evil are manipulating your thoughts. I listen only to my mother. If I kill you, and Victoria, I will be rid of the monster inside. I will be free. And I will have my family back. My mother and my baby, who will be raised from the dead. You killed our baby. You dragged me here. You tore my face off. And you made me listen to the maddening voices from below. You did that, not the demon. It was you, monster. I am not guilty for what has happened. It's you, and, and you should blame your brother. No, Nikolai, wait. What did you think? That I was following your orders because you're smart, capable, and so thoughtful of others? <laughs> Nikolai, we are family. Look at your sister. I said, look at her. This is on you. You did that to her, not me. Now look me in the eye and tell me you are guilty for everything. Words cannot describe how devastated I am for Victoria and for the deaths of all these people. But God is witness to your evil deeds. You killed the mayor of Sveti Kotar. My hands did, not my soul. It was Nerman who wanted him dead. Lucia, that poor lady. You slaughtered her like an animal and made me believe it was Nerman who came to the house. She had to go. She saw the crow from my nightmare in me. The spirit of Nerman. You killed Henry, too. He was about to die anyway, and he wanted to take Sekfra from me. And who killed the orphans? I had enough of listening to them and seeing how mean they were toward that poor child. So I silenced them once and for all. They had to die? They were the only children left in this town. No one's left to miss them. You committed the same sin of the witch nun from Minsk, your mother. Why did you lie about not knowing where Victoria was? <laughs> you mindless, godly man. You could have killed us anywhere you wanted. In Budapest, or... or the moment we stepped inside that house. Nerman knew how to get here, not me. That is why I needed you. To find the way, so that we could be here together, as a family. Why drag us to this temple? 
I follow the words of my mother. It is where the ritual must take place. I recall Vera telling me Nerman requires prey for the ritual. I was so blind, stupid. I want you to ask yourself, how are our deaths going to help you? Think about all the sins you've committed. Put that knife away and think about it. It's not too late. If you kill us now, he will become that same monster you are trying to destroy. No! <sighs> Nikolai, Yadviga is using you to fulfill Kasag's prophecy. You need to stop this. The demon. Nikolai, you are just being used for a vile cause. Listen to my voice. Bow before me. I am to become the king of the Saborans. I'm afraid this man is beyond salvation. I should act. God forgive me. It's over. It's over, my sister. <laughs> Kasag is with me! Mother is with me! Dear God, he's holding on the root! Take the knife from the floor, cut it! Let him rot in Ahrizat. Your body, your soul, your everything! He, he has my Bible. He must have taken it from me in the struggle. Let me climb up, and I'll give it back to you. I promise. Benedict, cut the root. Do not listen to him. It's just a book. God will understand. You won't dare! I will eat you alive! No! Mother! Mother, save me! <laughs> Victoria! I... I feel so strange... and weak. I can finally let it go. We'll find a way out of here, and you'll be taken care of. You're... bleeding. It's nothing. Don't think about me.
Let's leave this accursed place. Can you forgive me? Sister? About mother. I should ask for forgiveness, not you. I did the same thing as father. I left. I... I am so sorry for everything you've been through. It's my fault. I've been wrong and blind, Victoria. I should have been there for you. Forgive me. Shh. The question our father always asked. What is true faith? Yes. Well, I think you finally know the answer. Benedict, I've been longing for this moment for far too long. What? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Victoria? And who else would I be? What are you doing here? I'm your sister. I live here. This is our house, you silly. Am I dead? Dead? You have more life in you than ever before. I'm not sure about that. I feel weak. The more you sleep, the more tired you feel. But don't you worry about a thing. It'll pass soon. The last thing I remember is being with you inside the mountain. What were we doing there? You were all grown up, without a face. And I think you died in the end. <laughs> You've always had a vivid imagination, brother. It was just a dream. Relax. It's all so real. I don't think it was a dream. <laughs> Come, you should get up now. Father and mother are waiting for us in the basement. What are they doing down there? She always detested that place. They just said they want to talk, but I know that is a lie. I heard them saying we should prepare for what's coming. And what would that be? A great evil. The witch? Or the moon ghouls. Come now, let's go meet them. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed something in your pockets that you might need for the basement. I don't feel well. It's... it's like I'm losing control over my limbs and thoughts. Here's our hero. Are you Detective Mostov? Oh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You saved a lot of people. You really are a hero? My silly brother. Uh, how? The inhabitants raised their voices, broke free from their chains. Things are different now, thanks to you. I saved you from the mountain, and it was an honor. But you saved this town from falling into the abyss. I just rescued my sister. Sacrifice. That is what you did. You are a local saint now. A kind of Ivan Kotar, I'd say. And let me tell you something. You saved me as well. Thanks to you, I now remember who attacked me. I did? I mean, who attacked you? It was Hatur. Now I don't have to fear. I don't live in a lie anymore. I know who I am and what I want. I have found my true friend. Go now. Don't let me hold you here. They're waiting for you down in the basement. Oh, and Benedict. I forgive you for denouncing me. It's all right. Nothing happened. I would have done the same in your position. Now go! That's my sister. Stop looking at that painting. You know I hate it. I look like a corpse. Don't be afraid of the dark and the witch. Just descend. I'll be waiting for you in the basement. 
I promise. Please don't leave me alone. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't you worry about nothing. You're not alone. Your sister is further below. There is a mass of flesh and blood above my head. Like I said, nothing to worry about. You've changed and now you see it. You're finally able to see the truth. Go on. Fear nothing. How many bodies are mashed in there? I feel strange about it. It does look horrifying, but I'm not repulsed by it. On the contrary, I find it soothing. It's one of the candles from my mother's room. The Eye of Providence is engraved on it. Don't you need light to see me? Victoria? Are you alright? Nermin. Nermin? The man from my dream? The king is coming. I don't understand. Who is Nermin? He had a human form. He felt pain and walked upon the earth. And he was about to become... But Nikolai killed him! Nikolai? Nikolai slaughtered him like an animal. Feasted on his body and drank his blood. Nikolai is the man who helped me in my dream. To find you. It wasn't a dream. Nikolai was nothing but a vessel. A host to our future king. It was Nermin who helped you. And now you're about to help him. How? All in good time, brother. What happened to you? I'm at peace. But you are so different. I saw you upstairs moments ago. You were young and full of life. <laughs> and I still am. Are you dead? I'm in a safe place. What? Where? Be patient, brother. Our parents were supposed to be here. Where are they? They are dead. You're right. I remember now. Father died in my arms on the island. And mother died in our house. Wh when did this happen? She was ill. Her heart was dark and sad. Her life force collapsed after father left. But I don't remember how she died. I don't remember that day at all. Stop lying to yourself, brother. You know the truth. I don't think I... I'm not sure. Are you ready? <sighs> I must be dreaming again. This is just a nightmare. The book was destroyed. You are not real. This is not a dream. Yadviga's body is laying preserved, untouched. A new Sekra book will be written, all thanks to you. That's impossible. I don't remember. It's all right. Calm down, brother. It just means you're doing your part. You're feeding the king with your soul. Nermin is possessing me? I hear voices from outside the house. It is time, Benedek. The people of Sveti Kotar are free from the chains. They are here to save me, because I saved them. That's false freedom. You'll be used to fulfill the prophecy of Xav and to crown our king Nermi. And then you will join me in Ahriza to become a slave of Kassar. You will be safe. My time may have come, but I cannot be a slave anymore. I found God in people. I'm free. I'm free, as I know what true faith is. Russia has no other.